Now it's time to take a sports break, a look at sports history on a daily basis. Hello, my friends of sports history. This is Darren Hayes of the Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. Welcome once again to the Pig Pen, your place for all things great in sports history. And we have your sports break today for September 23rd, bringing you all the great events and actions and athletes and jersey numbers that occurred on this date, September 23rd in sports history. But before we get to that, I want to make sure that you know where to follow us on Twitter. We are at Pigskin Dispatch, the Pig Pen Sports site. It takes you right to it. Uh, you know everything is coming out of the pig pen. We fire a lot off on Twitter. You can go to uh, Pigskin Dispatch at on the Facebook page. We have our own page there. Have a lot of football programs coming up there. And uh, don't forget to follow us on Pigskin Dispatch and JerseyDispatch.com. Now let's get to your uniform numbers for September 23rd that we will talk about. Numbers 5, 30, 20, number 32 and 33, and 13 and number 9. September 23rd, 1908, the New York Giants' Fred Merkel of the baseball world failed to touch second base. The result, that it was caused the third out in the ninth inning and disallowed the winning run, thus the game would have ended in a tie. Now, he earns the nickname of Bonehead Merkel as the play that allowed the Cubs to win and win the pennant that day. September 23, 1925, Washington shortstop Roger Peckinpah is named the American League Most Valuable Player. Uh, one of the senators that uh, just had some great play for, for, back for Washington back in the day. September 23, 1939, Cookie Lavaghetto, number five, went six for six, perfect day at the, in the batter's box to help the Dodgers reached uh, 27 hits in the contest and defeat the Philadelphia Phillies by the score of 22 to 4. That 27 hits in one contest by a team, 6 for 6 for one batter, pretty good day, I'd say. September 23rd, 1962, the Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop number 30, Mari Wills, broke Ty Cobb's 1915 Major League Baseball stolen record uh, by recording his 97th stolen base on the day on his way to a total of 104 on the season. Now, September 23, 1979, the Major League Baseball St. Louis Cardinals legend, Lou Brock, number 20 with the Cardinals, stole his 938th and final base of his long career. Still had the wheels even at the end of his career to steal base. September 23rd, 1983, Major League Baseball's Philadelphia Phillies' Steve Carlton, a great pitcher, number 32, became the 16th MLB pitcher to win 300 games, defeating the St. Louis Cardinals 6-2 in the city of St. Louis. September 23rd, 1988, Oakland A's number 33, Jose Consenco became the baseball's first player to steal 40 bases and hit 40 home runs in the same season. Tremendous athlete, Jose Consenco. September 23rd, 1992, the first female to play in a National Hockey League exhibition game. A young goalie named Manon Rami, wearing number 33 for the Tampa Bay Lightning, played between the pipes and gave up two goals on nine attempts, nine shots that is, in one period of action. September 23rd, 2018. An old man at 39 years old, New Orleans Saints quarterback Drew Brees, number nine on his jersey, threw a 17-yard pass to number 13, Michael Thomas, to become the National Football League's career passing leader, breaking Brett Favre's record of 6,300 completions. Well, in that game, the Saints beat the Atlanta Falcons 43-37 to in a thriller. And that is your sports history for today. That is your sports break. Glad you could join us. Hope you'll join us each and every day for some more great sports history. And when you aren't, go to sportshistorynetwork.com. We have 30 different podcasters bringing you all kinds of great sports history. It's the headquarters of sports yesteryear. Also, join us on our websites, pigskindispatch.com and jerseydispatch.com. And don't forget, Orville Mulligan, sports writer, great podcast. Go to your favorite podcast provider or go to orvilmulligan.com. Till tomorrow, everybody, have a great sports history day. Sorry, but my pitching coach just called timeout. He's coming out to the mound. I think I'm going to get yanked for a reliever. We'll see you back tomorrow for some more great sports history on Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast.
We invite you to check out our websites, jerseydispatch.com and pigskindispatch.com. Not only see the daily sports history, but to experience the preservation of great events and people that play the games. Find us on Pigskin Dispatch. It's also on social media outlets of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel. Get all your daily sports history. Pigskin Dispatch is happy to be associated with the Sports History Network, the sports headquarters of yesteryear, found at sportshistorynetwork.com. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com.